Hey everybody, it's Steve, Chief Paralegal here at Gerben Law Firm. In this video, we're going to look at the first step for registering a trademark app name. That step is running a trademark search. Now, why do we do that? Well, to gain a better understanding, let's take a bird's eye view of the trademark registration process as a whole. First comes the search, then the application, which is reviewed by an examining attorney with the United States Patent and Trademark Office. What this examining attorney is looking for is to make sure that your trademark would not create a likelihood of confusion. Those are the buzzwords there, likelihood of confusion in the marketplace with a pending or currently registered trademark. I point that out because it doesn't take an exact match of your desired trademark to justify a denial of your application. So we're running the search for a couple reasons. One, we want to save money on application fees. And two, we want to know if there is a registered mark out there so we don't go pumping money into building brand awareness only to receive a cease and desist letter and have to start all over. Now at Gerben Law Firm, we're obviously biased and we recommend that you retain an attorney to do your trademark search for you. I'm going to show you how to run a basic federal trademark search in this video using the USPTO.gov, but as I think you'll see, although it's not rocket science, it is tedious and you definitely benefit from experience. At Gerben Law Firm, we also use professional grade search software, which allows us to go way more in depth in our searches than I'll be able to cover today. Okay, but let's get started. First, we would need a name for our app. So for that, I used a random word generator and we got mineralist. The first step is to go to the USPTO.gov and I'll include links to all of this in the comment section below. Click trademarks, click TESS, click basic word mark search. This is going to be our basic search screen. Step one is to click live. We're not really worried about dead marks. And then you can enter your term right in this box here. Now, as you'll see, there's only one mark that shows up, but this mark would be of concern to me. It's providing an online marketplace, which is a similar service to what you'd be doing with software. But as you recall what I mentioned earlier, it doesn't take an exact match of your trademark to justify a denial of your application. So now what we want to do is broaden our search expand our search, see what else is out there. How do we do that? Well, let's go back. And now I want to introduce you to a very important search tool with the USPTO, which is the dollar sign. The dollar sign is going to tell the software to look for anything that comes after the word or phrase you just entered. So here we've got mineral with the dollar sign. We click submit. Now we've got 609 records, way too many. We need to filter this down. How do we do that? Click freeform. Now, as you can see, I've already got the search set up here and we'll go over it in just a second. But what Freeform allows you to do is specify the classes that you want to search in. Now, if you're not quite sure what I mean by classes, then check out this video right here. This is going to go over the main classes you want to look in when you're registering a trademark for software or apps. OK, so what do I have here? Well, we've got the same search term with the dollar sign that we had earlier. MI tells the software that this is our mark index. This is the mark we're looking for. And we also want it to be live, LD is the code there, and class 042, international class 042. So we click submit. Now we get 15 records. And then you can go and look through each of these. Then what I want to do, again, still broaden your search, get an idea of the landscape. We go back and click 009 now for our international class. 009 is downloadable software, 042 is non-downloadable software. That being said, check both. This time I get nine records. Then I would go through these, checking to see, is there anything similar to my app here? Again, getting a feel for the landscape. Then we can go back and we can expand our search even more. We can put this dollar sign in the middle and do something like this. M with the dollar sign in there, list. And so then from here, we would go back and run this search in 042, then perhaps move the dollar sign to the front and just leave a list. Now, something small but very important to point out, when you enter in your international class number, it's got to be three digits long. If you just enter it two digits, it will look as if there are no records. But when you put the third digit in, records. So hopefully this gives you a starting point on how to run a basic federal trademark search with the USPTO. Again, we do recommend using an attorney. Give Josh a call here. It's a free consultation, 800-281. 6275. Finally, before I go, I just want to go over some limitations of this video. It is just a brief overview, but I hoped it helped to familiarize you with the USPTO and get you started on your search process. At Gerben Law Firm, we use professional grade search software, which allows us to go way more in depth into these types of searches. 
Second, it doesn't cover state or common law searches, which is part of a comprehensive search that you want to run in order to ensure no legal trouble down the road. And third, it's not legal advice and is not a substitute for talking with an attorney. But thank you very much for watching. And because each trademark search is unique, you can check out some of my other trademark search videos, which should help you even more through the process.